From Hollywood, transcribed, My Friend Irma. My name is Jane, and I have a roommate named Irma. Just the other day, she was saying to me... Jane, I just love that saying, all's well that ends. So I said, Irma, you didn't finish it. You mean all's well that ends well. Yes, Jane, you're right. It's all's well that ends well when you begin with ends chlorophyll tablets. (laughs) Yes, Irma has the right idea. Because everybody who wants complete protection from odor offense sooner or later ends up with ends. America's most popular chlorophyll tablets. E-N-N-D-S. Ends chlorophyll tablets stop triple O. Odors of body, odors of breath, other odor offense. Stop all three all at the same time. Keep you fresh as a daisy all day, all over. It's amazing. But one or two tiny ends tablets daily are all you need to stop triple O. O, 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 N, stop triple O. Now ends the really effective chlorophyll tablets are proud to present your favorite comedy show, created by Cy Howard and starring Marie Wilson as Irma and Kathy Lewis as Jane in... My Friend Irma. downstairs in an hour. I'm taking a bubble bath. Yeah, but you've been in there all afternoon. Well, I bought two kinds of bubble bath, and I don't know which is the best. How are you going to tell? I'm counting the bubbles. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, you had to talk to me. Now I lost count. I'll have to start all over again. One, two, three. Irma, you do that, so four, help me. I'll burn down five. the house. Now, come on, get out of there. Come on. Oh, please give me five minutes more. Oh, the water feels so good. Jenny, what is water made out of? Water? Well, it's H2O, hydrogen, oxygen. Oxygen? Isn't that what they give you when you have trouble breathing? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm so glad you told me a friend of mine has asthma. I think I'll send him a bottle of water. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you test it first? Just duck your head under and breathe deeply for five minutes. Oh, I can't. I just had my hair done. Irma! <laughs> Get out of that tub now and get dressed. I'll straighten the living room. All right, I'll get into my robe. Uh, Close the door, Jane. It's chilly. Okay. You make it snappy, huh? You know, this tea Mrs. O'Reilly's giving for all her friends is the biggest social event of her life. Her brother just got back from Africa, and he's going to tell us all about everything. Oh, Jane! What's the matter? Come here, come here! Are you hurt? What's the matter? The friendship ring Al gave me. Yes? I left it on the sink, and when I went to get it, it slipped down that drain. Oh, You frightened me to death over nothing. Nothing, Jane. I've worn that ring for six years. It's a piece of junk. I have heard of gold rings and gold-plated rings and gold-filled rings and gold-painted rings and imitation gold, but (laughs) brass-plated? I don't care what it was made of. That ring to me represented love, and I can't stand here and watch my love go down the drain. (laughs) Please, Jane, help me get it out. Honey, how am I going to get it out of that narrow little pipe? Don't we know anybody with a long, skinny hand? (laughs) Earl, we're on the third floor. That ring is liable to be any place. Gee, that's terrible. If somebody in this building uses the water, it's liable to wash my ring down to the river. I must prevent that. What are you doing? Oh, Professor Kapotkin, will you come down right away? Oh, yes, I'm a darling. Well, I hope it's not too late. Oh, Irma, stop making a fuss. You can easily get another ring like that. When we buy a chicken at the butcher's, we'll take the band off the leg and scratch out the words, freshly killed. Come in, Professor. We're in the bathroom. What's the trouble, girls? Well, you know that ring that Al gave Irma? It fell down that drain. Well, that can't do any harm. I think it belongs in the plumbing. (laughs) To me, it's always looked more like a washer than a ring. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Jamie, have you got any wires? Yes, Professor, I think so. The man from the phone company left a long piece of wire here yesterday. It's right in this closet. Yes. Oh, I hope no one is using the water. Does this look long enough? Yeah, who knows? Wait, I'll bend the end into a little hook. Okay. There. Okay, let's go fishing. Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, you think you'll get it out, Professor? I haven't got the least idea. The way the plumbing in this building has been fixed for years. Connected, disconnected, turned, twisted. Who knows what goes where? <laughs> but we'll see. You've got over 20 feet in there. It should be past the Martin's apartment. <laughs> yeah. Past, past Mrs. O'Reilly's, and maybe near the basement. <laughs> Do you feel anything yet? No, no. And that hook would grab anything in the way. Come in. Oh, Janie, Janie. Mrs. O'Reilly, you're white. What's wrong? Oh, Janie, I was in my bathroom washing my false eyelashes when a long black thing came out of the faucet, grabbed my eyelashes out of my hand and disappeared. <laughs> Stick around, Mrs. O'Reilly. I'm reeling in. <laughs> well, look. We caught two baby octopuses. <laughs> Those are me eyelashes, and don't be funny. What's going on here, anyway? I dropped the ring Al gave me down the drain, and I'm afraid someone will wash it down to the river. Well, I'll send for a plumber, but you'll have to pay the bill. Will you shut the water off until he gets here? Shut the water off? Um, but I'm giving a tea in an hour, and I have to get myself all prettied up. And a girl needs a drop or two of water. <laughs> a drop or two? Yeah. <laughs> all the water in the Hoover Dam wouldn't help you. <laughs> Look how many different colored streaks of red you got in your hair. What do you do? You, you paint that through a Venetian blind? <laughs> Look who's talking, why, you skinny mongoose. I don't see why you have to use wire to get down in that pipe. If you just pull your ears in, you could go through it yourself. <laughs> oh, please don't argue, Mrs. O'Reilly. You know, I've never asked too much of you, but if you... if you like me just a little, you'll shut the water off. Well, this is a terrible time to ask me, but all right. I'll shut all the water up for a half hour. Oh, thank you. But mind you, plumber or no plumber, it goes on in half an hour because I've got company coming and you, uh, you're only giving me 30 minutes to make myself attractive. And I don't think that's fair. Neither do I. <laughs> How can she straighten out in 30 minutes what it took her 70 years to wrinkle up? <laughs> Come on, Miss O'Reilly. I'll go down to the basement and shut off the water with you. Oh, fancy that. Every so often you say something gentlemanly. Do, do you want me to go with you? <laughs> yes. There are no lights down there. It's very dark. <laughs> oh, is it? Yes. Doesn't that give you any ideas? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, why don't you hold the party down there and go the way you look now? <laughs> Jane, how long has the water been shut off? Oh, about ten minutes. Why? Funny, when the water's around, you don't miss it, but when it's shut off... Jane, are you thirsty? No. I am. Oh, it's just your imagination. Forget about it. All right. Jane, how long can the human body go without water? Well, <laughs> uh, it all depends. You see, the human body is 90% water. It is? Mm-hmm. Wish there was some way I could squeeze myself. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Oh, Irma, will you stop that? You're just building this thing up in your mind because the water is shut off. <laughs> Ridiculous. Do we have any soda or Coke around? No, you getting thirsty? Me? No, no, no. Yeah, I don't think I'm 90% water. When I walk, I don't hear anything splash. Oh, stop. <laughs> now, stop talking about it. You're getting me that way. Uh, uh, turn the radio on. All right, this will take our minds off it. Of yeah. He cursed the day he came to Death Valley. <laughs> he lay in the sun, his throat parched. His lips cracked, screaming, Mother! Mother! Turn off that mother, radio! Mother. All right, Jane, you don't have to yell. Oh, now let's not have another word about water. All right. I wonder how old that man was who was screaming, Mother! Mother! Irma, will you finish getting dressed? I can't, Jane. 
I think I'm getting weak. Come on now, honey. Get your mind off of it. Read a book. All right. A book? Oh, here's one. Not the Desert Fox. <laughs> Irma Peterson, if you hadn't dropped that darn ring down the drain, maybe that's a plumber. Come in, water boy. Oh, I'm sorry, girls, but I won't be able to get a plumber until tomorrow. Then I'm not going to the party. I won't leave here until I get my ring. Oh, my darling, we called every plumber in the neighborhood. And believe me, they are not easy to get. Do you realize how much a plumber makes an hour? And for a small job, they don't like to get off their yachts. <laughs> He even told one plumber my head was caught in the washing machine. Yeah, and he said, just make her comfortable. It's set for two rinses. I don't care. You people don't know what that ring means to me. That is a symbol of our love. Al gave it to me the first night we met. I know, honey. Oh, I'll never forget it. I had gotten a job as a hostess in a dance hall. Uh, you know, ten cents a dance. And Al was my first customer. I still have his IOU. <laughs> he was doing a waltz and I was doing a rumba. But we got on famously. Yeah, and you're both still doing the same steps. Yeah, and then he walked me home through Central Park, and all the time we just kept staring at each other. Oh, blinded by love. Yeah, it must have been that because we both walked right into the lake. <laughs> now, when we got home, he gave me the ring. And you expect me to go out in a half hour to be gay, to be witty, to be happy, to be bright while my love is on its way to the sewer. <laughs> Never. Oh, gosh. I mustn't take this girl to see Betty Davis anymore doing things to her. <laughs> Miss O'Reilly, you and the professor better get down to your apartment. I'll be there when your brother arrives. Yeah, come on, Miss O'Reilly. Oh, by the way, after your brother finishes his talk on Africa... Are you going to save refreshments? Why, yes, I baked some cherry tarts. <laughs> you baked them? Well, your tarts can be America's answer to Africa's poison darts. <laughs> folks are learning this vital fact every day. In fact, right now in the drugstore, a man asks, can you give me really effective protection against triple O odors of breath, odors of body, and other odor offense? I've never found any old-fashioned deodorant that could take care of all three. Yes, ends chlorophyll tablets. Stop all three at the same time. Stop triple O. It's the new safe and pleasant way to stay fresh as a daisy all over, all day long. But how about these cheaper chewing gum or candy products? They contain chlorophyll, too. But look at any of them. Nowhere does the label state how much chlorophyll it contains. Why, you're right. Now look at the ENDS label. It states very clearly that ENDS contain 100 milligrams of Daritol chlorophyll, a fully effective dose. That's why only one or two tiny ENDS tablets a day stop triple O. Stop all three odor offenses all day long. Oh, 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 and stop, triple O. Oh. But don't expect such long-lasting results against triple O from cheaper chewing gum or candy substitutes that contain so little chlorophyll. Ends are so effective because they start acting instantly inside the body where odors begin. So for pennies a day, you get Ends longer-lasting protection. They're pleasant-tasting and safe as any garden vegetable. Get E-N-N-D-S, Ends chlorophyll tablet. Oh, 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 and stop, triple O. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Trial size ends, only 49 cents at drug counters everywhere. Larger sizes, even more economical. And now, back to my friend Irma. Oh, I hope Mr. Clyde is home. Oh, Mr. Clyde. Oh, no. Must you bother me on your day off? Well, there's something I must ask you. Well, make it snappy. My wife and I are just sitting down for some cribbage. And if you tell me it goes well with corned beef, I'll kill you. <laughs> now, what's your problem? Well, six years ago, my boyfriend gave me a friendship ring, and I just dropped it down the sink. Well, what about it? Well, you have a lot of rich friends. Do you know any plumbers? <laughs> what? You see, that ring meant the world to me. Why, is it gold? No. Is it platinum? No. Silver? No. Bronze? No. Copper? 
No. Well, will you give me a hint or do I have to go all the way down to paper? <laughs> well, what, it's, what it's made of doesn't matter. It dropped down the drain and Mrs. O'Reilly wants to turn the water on. Isn't there some way we can stop her? No, Miss Peterson. As I see this pathetic case, we have only one legal step within our power. What's that? We can sue the drain pipe for alienation of affection. Why, <laughs> please don't make jokes about it. Can't we get an injunction? Of course not. Well, how about a Corpus Christi? <laughs> a what? Or a red omnibus. A red omnibus? Yeah. You don't mean a writ of mandamus, do you? I've been working in a law office six years, and I still can't remember those Spanish words. <laughs> Mr. Clyde, you're an authority. What can we get? My dear girl, I will tell you what we can get. We can get a writ of transportation. Oh, that's wonderful. What is it? That is a legal document which allows two men in white coats to take you back to the institution from which you escaped. Now get out of here! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Okay, Jane, I'm here. Oh, Al, I'm glad you got my message. Did you bring another ring for Irma like the one she lost? Oh, I'm sorry, Jane. Couldn't pick up another. Now, don't tell me they're that expensive. Oh, no, no. You see, it wasn't really a ring. It was a brass fitting from a milking machine, and they have discontinued the model. <laughs> my mother got it from the county farm. She was doing a stretch, um, visiting. <laughs> That's just great. Now, what am I going to do? She won't go to Mrs. O'Reilly's party. No kidding. No. You mean to say my chicken won't go anywhere while my ring is still in the pipes? <laughs> Boy, what devotion. You know, you couldn't find a dog that loyal. I'm getting to believe it, too. I think I'll take her next week for rabies shots. <laughs> Imagine loving a guy so madly. Guess I got more than meets the eye. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, some of it meets the nose. What is that cologne you're wearing? Oh, you like it? It's, um, it's French. Al, bouillabaisse is to be eaten, not worn. <laughs> Hello, Jane. Oh, Al! Oh! No, no, chicken. <laughs> chicken, these are the tragedies that befall many young lovers. Al, will you stay here with me and try and get the ring out? Oh, I can't, Chicken. My pal Mushy's been arrested for theft, and I have to be a witness. Mushy was arrested? Oh, yeah, yeah. They caught him walking out of a supermarket with a live chicken under his coat. And even though he threw the bird away, think they're going to convict him on circumstantial evidence. See, they found a hot egg in his pocket. <laughs> so long, Chicken. Come on, Irma, it's time to go to Mrs. O'Reilly's. You'll have fun, honey, and you'll forget about the ring. Nothing doing. I'm going over to the library. Maybe they'll have a book on plumbing. Goodbye. Well, Mrs. O'Reilly, this is quite a crowd. Is that Patrick the Explorer over there? Yes, doesn't he look wonderful? It's hard to believe he's 68. 68? Must be a great thrill after all these months to welcome back your kid brother. <laughs> Cut it out. He's older than I am. Look, let your brother tell the wild tales, not you. Who are all these people? Oh, I have friends. Miss O'Reilly. Oh, Janie, darling, where's Irma? Oh, I can't do anything with her. She's out now trying to get a book on plumbing. Miss O'Reilly, you look just wonderful. What a beautiful dress. Well, thank you. I had it made specially for this tea. I hardly had time to get it away from the dressmaker. I don't think you made it. From the back, it looks like she's still in it. <laughs> now, cut it out. That's a bustle, and it's the newest thing. Well, come on, Mrs. O'Reilly. Now, let's have it. Who are all these people? Well, that one over there in green, that's the widow Johnson. She come into a fortune in oil. Really? Yes, her husband got hit by a refinery truck, and she collected the insurance. <laughs> Who's that sporty-looking guy over there? Oh, that's McGonagall. You know, he's the baker who invented the donut with a large hole so you can put your two fingers through it for people who like to dunk and hold a cigarette at the same time. <laughs> Who's that very distinguished-looking gentleman, the one with the white vest and gold chain? Oh, that's one of me beaux, Flanagan. 
He thinks I'm the most beautiful woman he's ever seen. Isn't he the one with the thick glasses who just walked into the wall? <laughs> Shut up. He tripped. Well, I think I'll serve tea now, and then we'll sit around and listen to me brother's adventures in Africa. Professor, you can help me hand out the cookie. Oh, well, sure, and I'll call up the construction company and tell them to send over a derrick. <laughs> You miss? Yes, I would like a... Shh. This is a library. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you got a book on plumbing? Have you tried looking under P? No, I've been looking under B. Under B? Yes, you see, I lost my ring in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure there's a plumber's manual. Oh, hello there, Emma. Oh, hello, Murphy. Oh, Wyatt, please. Oh, I forgot. Violet, what are you doing here? some evenings. I have to rest up for my new boyfriend. Oh, Violet, a new boyfriend? Yes. He's a frog's leg salesman. <laughs> and does he keep me jumping? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a cute joke? I tell it to all my friends. Well, naturally, people always can make jokes about a man who sells frog's legs. Well, my family didn't. They met him the other night. What did they say? That we should both croak. <laughs> You know how critical parents are. Tell me, Irma, what brings you here? Oh, I dropped the friendship ring Al gave me down the drain. Oh, I don't think Mrs. O'Reilly can sue you. Oh, no, no, I want to get it out so I'm getting a book on plumbing. I I'll have to say goodbye, Violet. Let's get together some night for dinner. Do you like frog's legs? Oh, yes. Well, my boyfriend brings home a lot of rejects. <laughs> you see, restaurants won't take the legs if they're fractured. Goodbye, Tony. <laughs> Plumber's manual. Plumbing has been a boon to mankind through the ages. And the art of the plumber is indeed one of great skill. Oh, no, that's not the part I want to see. Oh, here it is. Um, in old buildings... It is often difficult to trace the path of the original plumbing. However, by tapping on a pipe gently, one may discover the location of an obstruction or object. It is important not to tap too hard or a broken pipe may result. Now, where's my hammer? I simply must find that ring. Well, that was delicious, Mrs. O'Reilly. Well, thank you, Janie. And now we are ready for the lecture. And wait until you hear Patrick talk. He's so exciting, you'll imagine you're right there in Africa. All right, Patrick, we're ready. Oh. Thank you and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I have just returned from the land of the Obangis and Pygmies, so naturally it's nice to see my sister again. <laughs> well, thank you, Patrick Not at all, my dear I have just returned from a three-month trip into the heart of Africa I was with an expedition looking for ivory That reminds me, where's Irma? Well, she couldn't make it I think she's working on some uh, irrigation project oh, uh, <clears throat> Well, let us continue Never in my life have I known such terror as stalked us in the jungle Especially at night The death frightening silence, and in the distance, the beating of the tom-toms. <laughs> Glory be! I can almost hear them. It's so realistic. <laughs> and then, and then in the sky, out of nowhere, the flash of lightning and the sudden downpour of rain. And more rain. Look! It's coming through the ceiling. It must be from our place. Mrs. O'Reilly, look. You're an African queen. There's a brass ring on your nose. <laughs> Irma and Jane will be back in a moment. But first... Oh, 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 and stop, triple. Oh, oh, oh. yes, and here's proof. 
In an amazing scientific odor test, eight out of ten men and women stopped or definitely reduced triple O with N. Stopped odor of body. Stopped odor of breath. Stopped other odor of N. Executives, secretaries, clerks, even factory workers at 110 degree heat took ENDS chlorophyll tablets. Results from hundreds and hundreds of examinations were astounding. Working inside the body where odors begin, ENDS actually prevented unpleasing odors from forming. Stopped all three odor offenses. Oh, 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 ENDS stop, triple O. Oh. Oh. Yes, ENDS keep you fresh as a daisy all over, all day long. You get more complete longer lasting protection against triple O than from any old-fashioned body deodorant, toothpaste, soap, mouthwash. And ends are so much easier to use and safe as any green vegetable. Pleasant tasting ends contain 100 milligrams, a fully effective dose of Daritol chlorophyll. So beware of cheaper chewing gum or candy substitutes that contain so little chlorophyll or that fail to state their chlorophyll content on the label. Always insist on ends chlorophyll tablets. Oh, 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 N stop, triple O. Oh. That's E N N D S, ends. Trial size ends, only 49 cents. Larger sizes, even more economical. Well, any of you folks got plumbing you want done? You just call Irma Peterson. Because believe me, she's going to have to make some extra money to pay for what she's done to our place and to Mrs. O'Reilly's. You think she's worried? Not at all. Not a bit. She's got her ring back. You know, it just burns me up the way she carried on about something that isn't even a real ring. I think I'll tell her the truth. Irma. Yes, Jane? Honey, you might as well know the truth. That piece of junk that Al gave you is not a ring. It's a brass fitting from a milking machine. How could you say that? It's even engraved on the inside, right there inside. Oh, honey, I didn't know that. Read what it says. To set for three quarts, turn to right. Oh! <laughs> there she goes crying again. You know, between her tears and the leaking pipe, I'm going to be ready to swim the English Channel next summer if I go on living with my friend. Irma. My Friend Irma is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Park Levy, who writes a script with Stanley Adams. Pat Burton is associate producer. Marie Wilson is starred as Irma and Kathy Lewis as Jane. The part of Al was played by John Brown. Hans Conried was heard as Professor Kropotkin, Gloria Gordon as Mrs. O'Reilly, and Alan Reed as Mr. Clyde. The music was under the direction of Lud Gluskin. Tired-looking eyes can ruin your appearance, make you look unattractive, dull. So don't take chances when eyes are red, weary from lack of sleep, glare, driving. Get eye gene. Two soothing drops in each eye float away that tired eye feeling at once. Eye gene is like a prescription. Contains Lexitol. Acts as a tonic for the eyes. Safe, gentle, too. Get Eyegene, E-Y-E-G-E-N-E, -E -E, tonight. Use it daily for bright, attractive eyes. Trial size only 25 cents. Larger sizes even more economical. Eyegene at drug counters everywhere. Our fighting men in Korea need your help. Thousands of lives have been saved on the battlefield through the prompt use of blood plasma. Make an appointment to give a pint of blood to your local Red Cross chapter as soon as possible. Be with us next Sunday at this time when ENDS, America's most popular chlorophyll tablets, again bring you My Friend Irma. Carl Caruso speaking. <laughs> now stay tuned for our Miss Brooks starring Eve Arden, which follows immediately on most of these CBS stations. My Friend Irma was transcribed. This is the CBS Radio Network.